Hey, this is 1513 West Diversity, Unit 1E. So today I'm looking at a number of properties for my clients that are relocating from California. Super cool clients that helped them buy and sell before. Now they're gonna rent for a little bit in Chicago. So this is currently on the market. This is the main room, right off of Main Street. Let's look at this outdoor space we have going on right here. So good size balcony right off the front. So extension of the living room. We have our gas right there. So that's a really nice touch. You know, it's a little noisy out here. That's always a trade off of a Main Street, but a lot of times you're getting more space and a better price point because you're on a Main Street. Always keep these secure and locked. Okay, we have this grand fireplace right here. So the benefit of a fireplace is you get a fireplace, right? But the downside of the fireplace is it becomes the focal point of the room. So you have to arrange all your furniture around it. And you'll notice that it's sticking out over two feet from here to here. So that's encroaching into your room, really making your design decisions and your living decisions based over this fireplace. This is the set dining room area. That's why they have this lower. So this is where they envision it being. So I'm not sure what you really do with this space. You probably just put two chairs in front of the fireplace, call it a day and have your living space, family room, more back here. So you have a powder room right here off this room, nice marble floors, nice pedestal sink. I really like this style where it's open. You can see everything and it's all a finished product. Nest fireplace or nest fireplace, nest thermostat. Coat closet right here. Always have to have a coat closet. Really good space, you can see. And then it leads us right into this kitchen area. So you have this dividing wall right in the middle, and then a nice open kitchen, two pendants, quartz countertop, and you have the double thick here. So these are oak floors. I'm not quite sure what happened. Now, this was new construction like last year. I don't know why these people moved or what the situation was. They probably had to relocate or who knows, but these floors are kind of rough for the year of this home. I also noticed there's a lot of cupping right here. So I don't know if you can pick it up on the camera, but the floor is uneven. And the reason this happened, this is your outdoor space. This is the most, the highest traffic area of the house, right? Cause you're parking back here and then coming here. And look, yep. So this should have been tile. You can already see where they had a mat down. You see this discoloration on the floor. They had a mat here. They tried to take care of the, the moisture and all the wetness that was coming in, but it's never gonna work. So you always, always make these tile. When you're walking off of any area that comes from inside to outside, always put tile right down here. So ceiling fan right here, definitely enough can lighting. I like that they did the crown molding all the way around. These cabinets are an interesting gray. It's not the standard gray you, every, you see everywhere. This is a little lighter and that's the garbage disposal. And they did these for under cabinet lighting, which I, I personally always hate. Um, why are you gonna make me turn on three separate places to turn on the lighting? Okay, so they do turn on. So they are in one switch, but they're all these separate things. I'm still not a big fan. Nice separate island. You'll notice they stacked the stone, but whoever did this stone did a really cheap job. Look, they just stacked it right this. You can actually see the seam in the middle. I mean, this is not that great of craftsmanship on this to be perfectly honest. And then Viking appliances. Okay. Center island with an offset color. All soft closed cabinetry, of course, full range, 30 inch, uh, typically in this price point, this might be larger. You have your microwave right above, standard Viking microwave, and this is venting out. So when you're running the exhaust hood, all this is gonna go and exit the building. One thing they're missing is they're missing a light right above the sink, but they're capped for it. By code, you have to have a light above the sink, so that's why you have that light fixture there. They have window treatments everywhere, pretty standard. I do like the finish on these floors. I have the same finish in my house, actually. All in all, this is nice and wide. I mean, we're 15.6 from right here. And from here, we're 20 feet. And from here, all the way to the back of the house, we're 57 feet. So you have a really good floor plan here. I like how it's laid out. 
There's some small imperfections, but again, if you're renting this, not a big deal, right? Small things. Let's go check out the rest. So we walk straight down to our second bath. This is gonna be the bathroom for this level for the two bedrooms down here, because it's the three bed, two and a half bath. They have marble everywhere. So the only downside with this marble, and you can already see it, is marble's a porous material and you have to seal it and you can see the stains in the stone. You see all these little cup marks. It's, it's, it, picture this as being wood, right? And you know how if you don't use a coaster, you're gonna have all the marks from your cups? Well, you can see that everywhere. And the only way to get rid of it is to hone it. So it's just really not the best material. We also have it on the ground. We have it on the walls. This isn't going to age well. Over time, this is gonna feel and look pretty gross. It looks beautiful right when it's installed. Natural stone looks the best right when it's done. A month later, it starts to deteriorate and that just happens time after time after time again. Uh, we just walked this to turn on the lights. I don't really know where everything is yet. So just giving you a heads up, impromptu, ad lib real estate showings. So awesome master, 1510 by 14.6. So almost a square, really good size for a master. And then great closet too. Look at this, this is nice and deep. So eight two by four two. So the only downside of closets like this is you only have one row of hanging and you can even see like, I don't know, whoever bought this paid a lot for this, over 700 grand. If I paid that much, I would want some nicer closets. This is all right. The space is good, but I would have liked more on this wall. I mean, really for two couples, I don't know if this is enough space. I'm like, this doesn't work, okay? If I hang something here, the hanger is gonna stick out here. So you'll notice I'm here. This really just doesn't work. It would be way too tight. So they need some more width in this room. Wow. Okay, and now I'm kind of understanding about the width because this bathroom is tight, okay? Look at this. I can't, I can't stand here and use this. So yeah, there's only, yeah, that's like 30 inches, 31 inches between here and there. This is really a tight fit. And then right behind this door is a linen closet. You have a nice steam shower with a bench. Not bad. Subway tile, side shower right here, main shower right here. These are all growy plumbing fixtures, double sink, quartz countertops here. They did the marble floor here and all the grout lines. Guys, oh my God. If you saw 88 West Schiller and you saw my bathroom, look at this. All these grout lines are gonna get so dirty, so dirty, so dirty, so, so dirty. You're gonna get, you're gonna have to clean this constantly. Do not put grout lines in your bathroom. You don't need them. Have large format tiles. These are just hell to clean. I'm telling you from personal experience, I thought my bathroom looked beautiful. I even have marble floors. I broke all the rules. I like the way it look. It's fine, but you don't want to do it. It's just so bad to clean. Simple lights up here, straightforward mirror. We're kind of looking at basic new construction in this whole, this whole unit. Nice long hallway. They did the trim all the way around as well, all the crown molding. And then we are 9-4 on the ceiling height here. Big bedrooms. So for a second bedroom, this is a really good space. I can already tell it feels nice and open. I would have done a fan with a light there. That's really just like 12 by 12 and a half. It's big, but it feels so much larger. I think it's because of the high ceilings. And then you have natural light coming through here and you're not highly obstructed. So you have a lot of space between the next building and this one, which is allowing for all of that. Tons of storage down here. So you'll notice this is the stairs. Whenever you have these stairs, the simplest way to do it is just to put storage underneath it. Now, I like is to actually build this out, create cubbies for the kids, kind of storage that you can use off the hallway. This is the simplest and most straightforward way to gain the maximum amount of space though. Come on and take a look. And then we have washer and dryer right here. Uh, looks like GE, pretty simple, straightforward stackables. You have your panel right here. I know it sucks that it's in the hallway. Chicago wants it in the hallway. The best way to get past this is just to paint it when they're painting everything else, so that way it blends in. But inspectors will tell you not to paint this. You're not supposed to paint these, so that's the catch-22. It's either ugly and up to code, or it's against code and it blends in as much as possible. The other way to get around it, just put a painting over this. 
just put a piece of art right here the best way. Good size room in here as well. Again, we have these simple closets. <sighs> Guys, don't do these closets. Uh, if you saw our tour at 1503 Oakdale, you'll notice they did wire closets in the other bedrooms, but they look better than these. This wood warps, okay? It's particle board. It's gonna warp. You can already see it, and this place has been lived in for like a year, okay? I mean, you can see it right here. And they have this to the left. It's, this isn't even straight. I don't know why that was. Just do the simple wires. Don't put these wood products unless you're doing a professional wood product inside. Let's see what we have outside. Okay, so le this leads us right out to the back. So there's no storage, there's no extra space. Okay, so we have no decks above. We have the garages all right here, and then you have the garbage back here as well. You can hear that noise from outside already. Uh, and this is it. And do we, sh okay, so this was off the back. This was the outside area right here for that unit. So you have front outdoor space as well as back. So you're not running through your dining room with a steak as you're cooking it. But all in all, hey, this is 1513 West Diversity, Unit 1E. Thanks for coming by. See ya.